So Don was the premier soloist in my piece, and also in Larry Austin's piece, he had a fiercely difficult part that was almost all written. There was some improvisation uh, and inc incredibly complex rhythms. But Don, by that time, was specializing in odd meters, you know, constant changes of meter and 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 uh, all kinds of uh, uh, harmonically very complex ideas that he could improvise in. But at the same time, there was a place called the Schillinger House, which is now the Berkeley uh, School of Music. Which is a fine school. Too. Yeah, and they had uh, all the jazz players. And in addition to that, they had a, a, a jazz workshop where you could go and for a couple of dollars a week you could play and, and uh, you, could, you would learn how to play jazz. Herb Pomeroy and Ray Santisi and people mm -hmm. like that were there. But they would bring in Charlie Parker, they would bring in uh, uh, Bobby Brookmeyer, Stan Getz, uh, Kenny Clark, were some of the people I remember coming in. And here you, as a fledgling musician, would get up there in this little Fire funky them. room, and you'd be blowing right along right with these along people. Right along with the pros. Well, you know, what better way to learn, and what better atmosphere. And this place happened to be just around the block. Don Ellis, trumpeteer, band leader, drummer, composer, and arranger, died on Sunday evening, December 17, 1978, in his home in North Hollywood, California, of a heart attack. He collapsed as he was preparing to have dinner with his family. Don was only 44 years old. <laughs> 